Two years ago, I used to be jumping from one trade to the next, making the same mistakes on repeat. No notes, no learning. Just a headache of losses until I started journaling my trades. In this video, I'll show you how to create your trading journal using Notion and how to journal your trades, as well as sharing my personal trading journal that you can start using now. This is Molham and let's get into the video. So we're going to be starting with how to create your trading journal in Notion. Now, remember that you can use Notion in your phone and your Mac and on your Windows. It's available everywhere and it's very convenient. So this is my trading journal. I'll be sharing this at the end of the video and I'll show you how to add your trades and how to generate your trades using mine. But first, I'll show you how to create a basic one. If you want to customize yours, then this is how to do it. We're going to be simply go into this uh, toolbar here and then add a page from here we're going to be starting let's call this trading journal and then we're going to come to the click on empty page and now we have an empty page so now when it comes to notion you can actually write anything here or if you want to have something in specific or like a command for notion then you got to click on slash as it's showing you here so slash and then you see we can add a text a page and all of those stuff i'm gonna be actually going and adding a table so i'm gonna go slash table and we're not gonna be adding this type of table we're actually gonna go with a database because we want to have a database for our trades so this is just a simple table you know adding some text but this is uh, a full database so i'm gonna go with table view click here and now we have sources here and the data sources I don't have a data source as of now we're going to be creating a new one so new database we have this table so let's say i want to add different tables here and this is just for back this thing or let's say this is for the new year the 2024 so in this table we have columns here and we have rows usually we're going to be uh, picking some properties on the columns usually i'll start with the first one and most likely it's a pair so it's the name of the pair let's say let's call it a pair we're going to go to the next one and let's say we want to have this as a date just to add uh, or to have a indication when this trade is taken we're going to come to the edit property and we're going to come to the type and select date right here click on the date come to the date format if you want to change it i'll keep it on the full date and now let's say for example uh, i have euro usd trade i'll just write euro usd here come to the date Pick the date that I took the trade, let's say the 5th of December. And I want to add more properties here. Uh, let's say I want to go and add the direction. The direction is it's going to be either long or short. So there is multi-select and there is the select button. I'm going to go with the select. Add an option. And the first one is going to be long. So long. And then the other one is going to be short. Because those are the two directions that we're having when it comes to the trade. Now I could also adjust the color here. So just click on long and come to, you know, pick green and then the short, I'm going to go with red and then exit from here, come back here, uh, change the name here to direction. Today's video is sponsored by Hanko Trade, one of the best brokers in the business with spread as low as zero, low commission, and you can trade all markets, including Forex, indices and crypto. And if you use the link in the description, you will get an exclusive 100% bonus. Make sure not to miss it. Let's get back to the video. And you can also add another one. And this is going to be ticks, for example. And I'll call it emotions. You know, just to include all of the emotions that you're having. And last one, actually, I would call it RR or reward to risk. And the type here is going to be number. So now if you come to the direction, click here. You see long or short. Let's say long emotion. I would say, oh, I was having a FOMO here and I was actually scared. When it comes to the RR, so let's say this is 2R and then there is another trade that I took and it's a minus 1R. If I come at the end of the row here, okay, in the last row, it says calculate here. If I click on calculate and go, for example, sum, this is going to add all of the values here. Add them up to each other. So sum. And we can see that 2 minus 1 is 1. So the reward to risk at the end of the 2024, for example, is only is only 1R. And you could add all of the properties that you want to have here. Now, another thing that we can do is come here into the pair and click open on this. And it's going to add if we want to 
you know, add any notes here, any other confluences that we want to mention. You can also go to trading view, either take a screenshot for the trade or go in trading view on the right side, click on copy image as shown and then click control V and it's going to actually uh, paste the screenshot here. Now, if I go back, simply coming back here, click again on open and it's going to show you this screenshot right here. Now, this is just the table view. We can actually click here and there are some different types of views here board timeline gallery calendar so you could actually add a calendar here see so it tells me uh, at this day i took a trade on your usd i can actually add another view which is for example a gallery so all of the trades that i took you see this one it's showing me that i took this trade now if i add some other screenshots they're going to be shown here there's also the board you can see took a euro usd trade here and you know there are some other ones so let's say so let's say USD CAD here. So I added uh, another trade here on the second. So different types of view. You could keep all of them or you could keep the ones that you want to use here. Journal every day after taking any trade. Come back to this at the end of the week. Learn from your mistakes. Try to improve your trading plan. See why it's not working and try to solve it. Try also to monitor your emotions. See what your emotions were at any trade that you took. This is the way to success. So now this is my personal trading journal that me and one of my friends try to put together for the new year. Now we can see that we have, first of all, trading journal. You can actually add a cover here. So you can add, actually add a, a big picture here. But I don't want to because it takes a lot of space from the journal. Now this is the table view. We can see we have the pair, date, direction, profit, loss, result, reward to risk, account, and emotions. And here we have some quotes that I really like to you know look at every day just to get some motivation. And we have the calendar view too. So, so instead of looking at the table, now we have a calendar that shows all the trades that we took in different days. And for the reward risk, it shows us the sum. And for the profit loss, it also shows us the sum. You can consider this for a week or a year or a month and then create other ones below. Now on the right side, we have the accounts table. So on this side, uh, we're going to be keeping track of the accounts that we're having, the balance, the profit or loss, and the percentage that we're making. It could be the personal account, the funded FTMO, the funded, uh, the, you know, the funded trader, or any other accounts that we're having. So let's say, for example, we have an account that we want to just use for scalping, then we can keep track of that one. Then below, we have the risk management, so you can have the plans for your risk management here. So let's say uh, 0.5 risk per trade for maximum loss per day and the other stuff. Uh, right here, we have the checklist, liquidity sweep, market associative, tender of character, this is your checklist for your trading plan. So this is basically your trading plan. And right here, you have the goals. So let's say, oh, you want to have a specific numbers of followers in the social media. You want to have a specific amount in funding. You want to have a specific amount of money to have at the end of the year. So you could have all of the goals here. So this is simply the trading journal that I'm offering you. Now, if you want to have access to this, make sure to join the Discord and you're going to see it on the Mulhams Education channel. You're gonna see this available to download there now at the end make sure to journal all the trades that you took at the end of every week or every day if you prefer the time that you prefer make sure to check all of the trades see if they were valid see what are the emotions that you went through and see the risk management if you were following your risk management see if there is something that you were not seeing at that time and you can see it now so you can avoid it in the future as well as try to improve your trading plan so basically after looking at a two months three months four months data you can collect all of the screenshots see the ones that work and also uh, take a look at the ones that did not work and see what is the common thing on the ones that did not work and the common thing on the one that worked and try to improve your trading plan by looking at those examples that's it for the video make sure to join the discord to have your version of the trading journal i will see you in the next video